can't forget the clapboard. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Retired Gamer. I'm your host, AO is the Future, and I have an exciting, really, really cool segment here for you, and this is going to be all about Wells Candy Token and everything that I have experienced so far and what you should expect if you get into it. Now, understand that you need to do your own research and go and go through the white paper and look at all the details, all the fine print. And, the, and all that stuff, right? Um, so that way you can be sure to educate yourself on a protocol, what to expect, what not to expect. You can see how this guy that created this program, his background, all that stuff. So all that stuff is important for a lot of people. And I think that I just want to get that out the way. So that way we can kind of get all those um, smaller details out of the way, right? So Let's just go to wellscandytoken.com, right? Now, when we get to the website, we see that there's a lot going on. It can almost be intimidating because there's so much going on, right? Just Let's just take a look real fast, right? Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on, right? So what I want to do here is give you a quick overview of what you're going to be looking at, what to expect, um, what happens when you get into an auction lobby, what happens when the lobby's over, um, if you have a referral code, that type of stuff. Also, we'll also look at the stakes and seeing how, how does all that work? How does it all tie together? And are you really making money on this? Is it really possible? Now, we can see on the header menu, right? It's going to be like right all up here in this area. I don't want to go too far, but it'd be all like right here in this area right there. We can see in the header menu, we got options for the auction lobby. We have options for the staking as well as several different other selections. We're only going to use a few, primarily the auction lobby and staking will be our way to success. So when we're in the auction lobby and we're looking at all the different menu items, we can see where the date ends. We can also see how long the auction is going to be open for. Now, right here, we can see the wallet profile. We can also see how much BNB is going to be in a wallet, as well as how much Wells Candy Token is in a wallet also. Now, there's a couple other different selections there. I haven't done all these different things in here. Like, I haven't started a team, so I don't have any referral bonuses. I haven't, like, collected any tokens. I just wanted to make sure I got into it. I knew what it was all about before I got to this point of talking about it, right? So, right now, I'm probably going to start building my team, and then I'll make a video on that. But for this area right here, this is the USDC trigger buyback button. And this basically is where the taxes that can get collected from the stakes this is where that is going to be at so we'll get more on that a little bit later anyhow the button is used to buy back tokens and get them burned it's all in the white paper you can go in get the details and of course dyor don't forget to do your own research so right here is our referral code and or actually this is the referral code that you would use if you're just joining but you can you can check your your referral earnings and then you can also see that there's like the pages faqs and that type of stuff so this right here is pretty self-explanatory you can see the total wells candy that has been burned as well as the overall bnb deposits plus the overall distributed wells candy token is also here too right so now when we're talking about the auction lobby, this is where the fun starts. Now, each day, there's 2 million tokens that get put into circulation after the auction ends. Some days, there's a lot of BNB going into the lobby. You can think if people are getting a lot of FOMO and a lot more participants. Sometimes, there's not. The FOMO dies down. Maybe people don't have working capital at their hand, disposable. So that is where we can capitalize. It's not always going to be a good day to get in sometimes, especially if there's a lot of FOMO, especially if there's a lot of participants. You might want to sit it out and wait to the next day. Like, for example, this day there was 167 BNB added into the lobby. So there was 167 BNB added into the lobby. We can see here how much we received. Now, when, <laughs> when, when I timed this correctly, I was able to have my BNB go a lot further than what it did previously. Now, take a look at this. So, if you're strategic enough, you can time the lobby for when less BNB is going to be in it. 
which usually means there's less participants, which means there's a bigger piece of the pie for you and me, of course, right? You can't, can't forget about the kid, right? So with this being said, let's go look at some stakes and take a look at how they're working, what to expect from them, and let's see how much they're actually printing. And we, I can, you can actually see how many coins I've claimed already, right? So I might wanna add that once the auction is all said and done, you might wanna go back to the auction lobby, claim your tokens at that point, because you're gonna be asked for a referral code, you can put my referral code in, and, uh, and, and, and claim your token. So my referral code is 6110250, right? So you can choose somebody else every day, right? So every stake, I mean. So if you don't go claim your tokens, your tokens are gonna, just gonna sit there. You won't be making any money on them. So that's just a heads up. So be sure to go back to the auction lobby, claim your tokens, and then we'll be moving on over to the staking tab where we can actually make some money, right? So on this page, we can see the price of the token, the overall collected dividends, as well as the auction entries. So with the stake area right here, we can see that of Wells Candy that's in our wallet, and we can put that in here, and we can also receive a dividend on the bonus token. So what this basically means is this gives the users another option than just selling their tokens. So if you got a stake going, you can claim your stake and then you can take your stake and put that in here and you'll earn a 265% APR plus you get a little bonus. So it's not too bad. So the next section for me, I find it pretty obvious, self-explanatory. And that's pretty much why I haven't used this one. I don't want to go and use PancakeSwap to purchase Wells Candy and when I can just purchase it right here on the website, right? Like there's like when I first, when you first got into Wells Candy, there was an 80% tax if you purchase on, on PancakeSwap. So it's already embedded in me to not go purchase any tokens from PancakeSwap, but you can do as you wish. So moving on. Hey, we're gonna go. Let's let's talk about the stakes, right? Let's talk about the stakes. So let's let's, let's so here are the stakes, and this is what we have all been waiting for. In this area, once we have successively got tokens from the auction lobby, those tokens are instantly staked, and they'll incur a two dollar USDC charge week to week for each stake that you have going, right? So remember that one buyback button. That's where that comes in at. So uh, when it comes to your stake, if you hit the reinvest button it starts an entirely new stake with that amount of tokens that you had showing in your reward amount. Now, if you hit claim on that stake, it's pretty obvious what you would claim those tokens and that would go right to your wallet, right? So, what's up, Poppy? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so going back to the strategy, I mentioned earlier we're trying to like time your position in the lobby, we're less participants in, and you're trying to jump in, you're trying to time it, snipe it, it's 12.50, you're in front of your computer and you're looking at it, yeah, right? So check this out, I'm gonna, break, I'm gonna show you exactly why you wanna do that, right? So for this example, here on day 21, total deposit of 99 BNB, right? I put in 0.648 BNB. I got 12,986 tokens, right? Now, I'm gonna fast forward to day 34, where only 21 BNB was deposited from other participants. So now, with just 0.4 more BNB, I received a total 89,000 tokens, maybe give or take, right? I'm pretty much 90,000 tokens for just a 0.4 BNB. So that's not even $100, and I received so many tokens. So um, I hope this gives you a firm understanding of how to navigate this terrain when it comes to Wells Candy. I hope this gives you a, a maybe not a real detailed breakdown of the auction because I'm not I'm, I didn't go into the auction right now because this is more or less about the stakes, how they work, and I want you to be able to see it and being able to see how it all kind of looks and how it plays out. Now for for um, this specific uh, like I guess this this run with Wells Candy that I have going. So far, I have 13 stakes going. Now, once the auction lobby gets done tonight, I'm gonna have 14 stakes. My thinking is, if I had a stake to claim for you know two weeks straight, that that's my thinking, right? So who knows? I don't know if it's gonna be if I'm if I'm approaching this correctly or what. But 
I do really, really believe that I'm making the best decisions and I'm making my money go as far as possible within this protocol. This protocol, in turn, is burning drip with that USDC buyback. It's, it's going and burning. It's buying and burning drip. So that's why a lot of the drip maxis like myself were all like, like super bullish on this protocol. And this is my way of shedding, shining a little light on it and, uh, and trying to make it happen for, for you and um, as it's happening for me. So with that being said, I salute you, wish you nothing but the best, and I hope you have a good night. Signing out. Peace.